Are not you done yet? You around if you don't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys they're back from their trip of, of doing all this and uh we got the 150 tall in the 90 gallon and the 160 cube and now we're using this stand to hold this 110 tall saltwater tank because it has uh pipes coming out the bottom and then we've got the 265 here that is it's cold out here it's ridiculous it's been raining and everything is covered in a, a slight coat of ice how it's been fun carrying stuff right yes <laughs> i thought you were the electrician <laughs> why are you here doing drywall then why are you here doing paint now why are you here doing carrying? i wear many hats <laughs> many hats well i'm just glad you're my friend and i see you brought your husband shy's here <laughs> look at these guys go you might have to scratch that end of that stand and swirl it out. Nope, you're good. Go on around it. Look at that. Come a little bit more. We'll catch the end. There you go. There's the 110, the 160 cube, the 90 tank, and then there's a 150 tall. We have now got the 265 here. Ah. <sighs> If we can work it to the back of the trailer, the four of us can lift this. But I don't know where we're, it's gotta go inside. Oh, look at the, tra the car. We still have to unload all of this. We figured it's what, 20 degrees out here? 20 degrees out here. It, yeah. was, it was like 32 and raining. Now it's 20 and everything's covered in ice. It's crazy. I wanna go in because my feet are cold. <laughs> I'm, I'm the little kid in the background going are we done yet <laughs> uh, but yeah this whole van is loaded with stuff that we haven't even begun to you know take out yet so we're gonna leave that uh, if we can get this trailer emptied i can go ahead and go to uh, new jersey and we won't have to worry about stuff but i'm thinking we need more people here for that tank because it's so slippery you know we're gonna need more people yeah because even if we pulled it out and got it over there one end of that tank is really heavy i'm saying you need four guys on that tank all or alone. big rich on one side and two guys on the other side well no really i'm saying just Wait, me on one side because i'm saying i can get my weight waist high of course <laughs> not from the floor <laughs> that <laughs> they're making fun of me because it hurts me to bend over you know you think you it's work your kids, butt off all your life and you do all these great things in life and your kids are good and they're all got their own houses and everything's good. You would get a little bit of respect at my age, right? It's all no. right. No. You're the same age as I am. It's all right. You can't bend over. I'm almost there. You're way younger than me and you can't bend over now. I hear you uh, grunting all the time. I, I can bend over. I'm good to go, man. I'm running. Touch your toes. Touch your toes. I'm running, boy. He I'm can't running. touch his toes. I'm running. I'm running. <laughs> He's making it look like he's touching his toes. <laughs> That's us just clowning and having fun over here. All right, we're going to try and do this here. Okay, well, in the middle of unloading, they made it back from California. We broke out our forklift, and it was a bear. It took us about an hour now. And uh, it didn't want to turn. It didn't want to. The brakes were stuck on. Everything was cold, frozen. So, uh, so what we're going to do is get this tank off of this trailer right now. And we can go back to work on our our uh, trailer or our uh, van full of stuff. You got to back up. Yeah, still ain't working. Our fork just since I had to go pick up. We let our buddy borrow them, and they've been left there since. <sighs> go ahead. It is cold. We got one guy bundled up here. <laughs> we got those guys bundled up over there. And then we got me. <sighs> okay, so we got the tank sitting on top of the stand. And there's a pair of legs to get out of the tank. Josh had to get in there to turn the heater up on high because now we plugged it into the house voltage. So the tank's gonna stay nice and warm overnight. <coughs> oh. oh my goodness. Uh, and this is where it's going to sit until uh, I can't believe we got that forklift up and running. 
it was so cold it wouldn't tilt back it wouldn't tilt it wouldn't go up or down it wouldn't go forward or back it was like those brakes were locked on oh but oh reliable she come through and she unloaded that thousand gallon tank oh there you go okay it is the next morning and we are unloading everything out of the van we got the trailer belt on but everything out of the van's got to come and go in here um all them lights reaper i i hate to be the I, one to I tell you what to do we want to leave it out here just in case we want to leave it out here but we don't want to leave them pointing like this we need them flipped over right, in case it rains water. yeah i got you oh, I didn't think of that one this is that one with the remote right here yep so uh now guys i i everyone's hit me up for if we're gonna sell or give these tanks away they, they've got a waiting list of people give me give me a, a few days we still you know we don't know what tanks we're going to upgrade and what tanks we're going to use we don't know which tanks we're going to you know swap out and, and and make you know you know take out the 75 and put in a 110 we don't know so we're still trying to unload from the van and get everything sort of organized here so that we can still walk through here and yet we still have to go to new york and pick up another load of this kind of stuff so we're i'm not going to be ready to sell anything or, or give anything away for a week or so uh we got to go through and see which filters work and you know that's that's all we use around here is the fx four fives and sixes so we definitely don't want to give any of them away right now and then we need some later so i will i will make a lot of people happy or actually kevin will make a lot of people happy when i start giving this stuff away we got a little bit more here to unload but thanks reap oh it's just uh i can't do everything all at once um You know, we got all this unloaded. Like the 75s, we're not gonna, I, I can't upgrade like a 50 to a 75 unless it's, it, okay, the fronts of our tanks and I, every aisle stick out to a certain height. So like I can upgrade a 75 to a 90 or a 90 to a 110. All the ones that aren't FX5s, you can keep in one pile right here. Yep. Yeah, them lids just put onto the tanks themselves. All right. Ow. That's lower than normal. I normally don't walk into that. Okay. Last night we were out here with the forklift, and as soon as we used the water, the forklift wouldn't uh, wouldn't move, Reaper. We couldn't move the handles. We couldn't turn the key. It was so cold and frozen. As soon as we used the water to, to warm up the key spot, we were on ice. My flip-flops were instantly stuck to the ground. It was crazy out here. So uh, we, we got that all finished and that tank unloaded. It was, uh, it was a chore and a half. This one's pure glass. Maybe set that right inside the door. These, these were both the top. Take, to it take it inside. To a 90, okay. To a 190, yeah. Right there, Hope. You can sort of set that sideways in a 90. There's Big Rich and Reaper unloading the stuff. Really have to announce me? I think they know yeah. who I am. <laughs> you sure? Pretty, you want me to grab that? I just heard you grunting and groaning, getting mad. <laughs> I don't like when Reaper gets mad. <laughs> we don't have that much left. A few more pumps in there and a couple more whatnots, and that's about it. Filters galore. That was the one that was hooked up to the big tank. Yeah, it's full of water. It's got to go inside. <coughs> We're getting down to the last of it. 
fan's almost cleaned out now. Look at that, we can see the carpet. We got it down. Uh, we got it empty just in time, and now we gotta go to, where is it, New Jersey, Long Island, New York. Long Island, New Jersey. And uh, uh, our buddies are out there, if we got the time, we could stop in uh, Dustin? Mass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not Dustin. Uh, Justin, I thought. Justin, right, That's there you I go. Said. I thought you said Dustin. No, I got it right this time. <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we're, we're down to there. Hello, on man. the tank, we or on the trailer, we've only got one tank left. And that's what our new saltwater tank. We're definitely upgrading that. So the 265 is going inside. Now I've got the two 220s. Both of them need resealed. Um, so we haven't got nothing done with them yet. But this tank here is going to be our new saltwater tank. So I got to clean it out as soon as the temperature gets above 50 out here we can wash it out clean it and take it inside uh, yes thank you for picking stuff like that up all right uh reap take this back up front i don't think you'll fit through there <laughs> i don't think so oh you had to prove me wrong just to do it <laughs> dude my arm can't fit through there what are you talking about <laughs> Plaza Sango, go come to drink your women and <laughs> so, come to drink your beer and steal your women. Yeah, but he swapped it around yeah, in the second verse. He swapped it after he had a few too many beers. Right, <laughs> that was a good song. That's, one That's one. Alex Bevan, skinny little boy from Cleveland, Ohio. All right. Yes, sir. Close that door up there. We got to get this tarp back over on top. The wind keeps tearing it up on windy, stormy nights. Uh, all right. We're getting her done. It's so much warmer out here. Hey, who? Yeah. It's amazing how warm 39 feels like. Oh, yeah. Compared to, yeah. 21 oh, yesterday, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yesterday, we poured water on the ice or on the uh, key for the forklift, and by the time it hit the ground, it froze my, my flip flops to the ground. It was crazy. But as you can see, this will be on Josh's video. We got the tank off, and it's sitting out here. So we got to get that inside. Right now we have a, a extension cord running to it. There's a heater inside that's keeping the, the acrylic warm. And we've got the outside covered from the elements. So it'll be fine. That's how we kept the Bellagio tanks on the side of the garage for two years. and Or for one year. And then we kept the 4400 in my driveway between the last houses for two years. Man. It was, yeah, it was under a heater for two years. Then we moved out here, and then it was under a heater out here for a while because we had to build that whole fish room extension. Then we put the 4400 in there. We moved that a little bit, that wood. <sighs> All righty. Let's get some more done. Okay, now this is the stand for that 265, but it had a quarter-inch wind covering all this, and we're going to have to replace that. So uh, it got wet and corroded on one side. We're going to have to replace all that. That's not a biggie. But it's going to go right there where Reap is. From there to this wall right here. The 7 foot fit in there. And uh, that's going to be the saltwater tank. So preferably I'd like to take this out. Paint it all black again. Fix the top. And then bring it in and set it up. But you know it's middle of winter here. So I don't know. And then we got all this to put in it. Once it's up and running. And all the different... Uh, you know, protein skimmers and stuff to hook up and all kinds of things to hook up here. And the automation system. And then we can eliminate this tank here and get it out of the way of the hot or the tanning bed that we never use. People keep saying, get rid of it, you can put a fish tank there. I am not getting rid of this. I know, I've seen all that. Never use it. Right, this is Tracy's. I bought it for her and she cried when I got her a tanning bed. It was only, I think it was 400 bucks when I bought it. And that was, what, 10 years ago? 10 years ago, yeah. Yeah, this was at the last house. And she, I mean, when she wants to, she comes out and uses it. And that's her thing. So, you know, it's, uh, I'm not getting rid of it. You know, that would be her call. If she was aware, she could tell me, go ahead and sell it. I don't need it no more. I would sell it. You know, I would find a place that I'd give it away, whatever. But that tanning bed and that hot tub is the only thing in this house that is Tracy's. She, you know, I bought her this and upgraded the hot tub. She was happy. I bought her that. 
Um, everything else in the house, you know, I decorated, I did, but no, this is Tracy's, and I cannot get rid of it, guys. <laughs> All right, let's check on our buddy here. Here he is. We just saw him eat for the first time since he's been here. He's doing so much better. And now you see why we put him in the rounded tank. They get kind of stuck in the corners. Like right now, he's in the middle tank. He's going to hit the back wall and, and be kind of stuck and have to turn hard. Surgeons don't do well in square tanks. But he is doing so much better. Yes. Okay. While we're out here, I wanted to feed the, these uh, discus. We got them some uh, blood worms, live blood worms. Put them into this tray. There we go. Put these ones down in there. All right, guys. Let's see you tear them up. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they know the feeder now. They're waiting there for some to come out each time. Well, that's the rest of you guys. Come on over. Where's the big blue one at? Oh, there he is in the back, right? Oh, that's a little one. Where's the big blue one at? Oh, there he is, right here. Turned right towards me. There. Oh, here comes the big, beautiful guy. Can you get you some? He's nervous. He don't want to come out front with me here. Beautiful. All right, Josh, you just threw a worm in for the GATF, so let's go over and check that out. He won't eat in the sun. Look at him. You give him that big old worm and he's going to chew on it like that? So he swallows the whole thing? That is neat. He swallowed it all. Wow, he's lightning fast. Uh-oh. He's still working on the first one. Nice and fat. He's healthy for sure. All right. Well, hope you guys like the show. Uh, stick with us for more awesome adventures. We're going to be going all kinds of places this weekend. Uh, Nine-hour drive there. A few different stops while we're there. Loading up a bunch of tanks and fish and people meeting us with fish. And it's going to be a crazy weekend. All right, guys, if you'd like to, uh, you know, keep watching and uh, hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. And as always, stay fishy, my friends.